Hey, Benny Pank here with YourTorontoHomeSearch.com and you just uh, watched the uh, CBC special on uh, real estate agents getting caught on camera being unethical, double-ending deals. I, my thoughts on that, first and foremost, I mean, if you're a real estate agent and you're blocking other deals uh, just so that you can double in and make money, extra money, well, I think the penalty should be just you should lose your license. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's super easy to get your license. It's very hard to make a living in this industry, but there's definitely enough money that you don't have to do um, unethical things to just make that extra buck, right? That's first and foremost. I mean, secondly, how, like, how, in the short run, how can we prevent all this stuff, all, all the unethical things from happening? Well, buyers, come on, it doesn't cost you any extra money to go work with a good buyer agent. Go work with a real estate agent, go work with a, a good one that will help you understand the pricing and help you win um, the, the offer, right? There's a lot of buyers running around out there right now just trying to contact a listing agent and, um, you know, not having much success because they don't get the education that you need. Now, the, there's a, they, they go to Australia and there's an open auction system and rah, rah, rah and everything like that, which is totally opposite of our system. But I feel the fault in that system is going to be that people are going to get way too excited uh, in, in that auction process in the heat of the moment, overpay for a property and re have lots of regrets, right? Now, on the other opposite end of the spectrum, we do have our system, which is a closed auction system, right? And a lot of unethical hap things happen under there because of that. How do we stop that in the, in the short term right now? Well, again, buyers, if you're looking for a house, Stop trying to contact that listing agent because that listing agent is there to represent the seller first and foremost and get the most amount of money for them. So as a buyer, just go, go after, go get a good buyer agent to help you in the process, help you understand the market, help you understand the pricing. That's how we can solve that in the short end, right? And I think like if, if we do the hybrid system of both markets right what we do is um, you know if, if it's a multiple offer situation and they price it that way on purpose what you should do is make it so that um, people can do their home inspections do their due diligence beforehand but uh, if you're doing a multiple offer situation uh, whoever comes in must be firm because in that open auction system you could plant a guy there to bid up the price as well so why who's to say that that's not happening over there right I mean oh and then and, and then what you can do over here is just make sure that whatever offers that you accept right they do have a original uh, deposit behind them so they're serious and it's through a, through an eBay type of system which works very well right and then what you do is you make sure that they're firm offers so there's no unscrupulous action that's the best thing that we could do for our market but overall we need our, we need our professionals out here we need our salespeople out there to be proud of, the, of being a salesperson and support them support the whole industry ethically as a whole that's it so get yourself a good buyer agent go get yourself a good listing agent when you're selling your house get educated it is a big purchase um, your torontohomesearch.com for more information thanks bye